Now that we've explored the light sensor in the earlier video, in this integrate learning video, we're going to add the tri LED light and create a program to make the sensor control the lighting. If you do not have your tri LED light, please get that and you will attach it to your controller here at the tri color block number one, where you have R for red, G for green, blue for B for blue and a minus symbol for the negative. Pause your video for just a moment while you attach your tri-color light. Now that you have your tri-color light attached, we want to get a few blocks to create this program. Starting in the sensing block, we want to take out the hummingbird light block. Make sure that's on your scripting palette you will need a few other blocks so go up to the operators menu and you will need the variable less than variable you'll need the less than symbol block drag that out into your palette in the control you are going to need a block to show what happens when it's clicked when flag clicked block which you can click the flag in snap or you can just click the block itself to turn it on and turn it off you're going to need the forever block because we're going to want our particular program to run for until we tell it to stop you are going to need an if block And finally, you're going to need the light block in order to, in the looks menu, in order to operate the tri LED. So let's bring that out. Now that we have all those blocks out, you'll notice that the tri LED light has a green uh, 100 next to the green. So green is going to light up full brightness with no blue and no red, and it's going to look for port 1 to do this. So let's click on the block and see if that works. Looks like it does. We've got green on. Now to turn green off or to turn on other colors, you just change these numbers. Don't change the number 1, but you can change the red from anywhere from 0 to 100. Green can be 0 to 100. Blue can be 0 to 100. Pause your video for a moment and explore how to make those different colors happen. Now that you've made those uh, colors light up and turn off, let's go ahead and turn off the lighting. Having a little trouble with my mouse today. Let's turn off the lighting by choosing a zero for the block and then clicking on it again to turn off the lighting. All right, let's see if we can get my mouse to behave here. Now we want to assemble this program so that we can get the light sensor to control the tri LED light. So the first thing we want to do is snap the forever block into the flag. So when the flag is clicked or when you click on this top block, whatever program you're writing will continue forever or until you tell it to stop. And this particular program, we want it to only happen if there are certain things happening with the light sensor. So we're going to nest, it's called, an, an if block in the forever block. Next, you are going to use the less than block and drag it into that little space that has the same shape. So if something is less than something else, then the, the program will happen. We're going to take, now take the uh, hummingbird light block and we are going to move that into the first part of the less than command. So if the hummingbird light sensor has a brightness less than, and let's just go ahead and type the number 15 in here for right now. You might decide to change that later. If the hummingbird light sensor senses a brightness that is less than 15, then let's turn on the tri LED light. We do that by dragging it into 
the command. Now, if this is going to work, we want to make sure that we have some lighting here. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that the green is turned on just like it is by default when you drag the block out. I've got my sensor here pointing at a light source. I've got my light here ready to turn on. I'm going to turn off this light. I'm going to start the program by clicking in the black space and then clicking on the flag. Now that it's glowing, I know my program is running. Now I'm going to turn off the light and the try LED should turn on. There you go. The light sensor sensed less brightness and continued the rest of the program to turn on the green lighting. Now you notice when I uh, went back to full brightness it did not turn off so we're going to do something next to make this program even a little bit more complex for the final part of our program we're going to need some more tri led blocks in fact you're going to need three more so reach down here and pull out three more tri led blocks And let's go ahead and set the first one to 100 for the red. And turn off the green. We already have green in our block palette, so I'm going to turn off this green and turn on blue. Full brightness. And then this last one, I'm going to have it to turn everything off. So it's going to have zeros for everything except where to look. Notice that every block is looking for the number one control block, tricolor block. Now go up to the control menu and you're going to find the weight one second block. You're going to need three of these. So let's go ahead and bring those out and just place them anywhere where they don't snap into something else. Now it's time to assemble our program. Before we do that, let's go ahead and turn off the program. Well first let's set this back to zero. Turn off our lighting. Turn off the program and then we can put this back on 100 and we don't have to worry about the light turning on. First we're going to drag a weight block into the program snapping it just below the hummingbird tri light. Then we're going to snap in the next hummingbird block. Again we're going to follow with another weight block because we want the uh, blocks to have a moment to light up before they change to the next color. If you look at if you start to see what we're doing here we're creating a change in colors that will repeat itself forever in our program. Now we want to have one more weight block at the bottom so that the blue light has time to light up. And when we decide it's time for our program to end, notice that this snaps outside of the IF block. So that final block will turn off our program. Take a moment to make sure you have everything the same way that I do before continuing. Now that your program is complete, we're going to take the light sensor, direct it at the light source in the room, and we're going to start the program. Once we start the program, all we need is for the light to go below 15 for brightness, and the program will start. So here we go. Green, red, blue, and then it repeats one second in between each light. If the light returns to brightness, then the LED 
turns off. You stop the program by clicking up at the top and you'll notice it stops glowing. And for this final part, we're going to, you're going to need a Dixie cup and a piece of cardboard. So what we do here is we tape our Dixie cup. First of all, we make a hole in the cardboard. And through that hole, we insert the tri-LED light. Be careful not to bend or break it in any way. And then you place the Dixie cup over and tape it, or glue it, I like to tape it, onto the cardboard. Then I've drawn a little design here, which looks like a disco ball. So we're creating a disco ball. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take another hole here and we're going to insert the light sensor into that hole. All right, so here's our light sensor. Now, the way this will work is we will turn on the program. And when the lights go off, we have a disco ball. And that's how you control a tri-LED light with a light sensor. Have fun exploring new and different ways that you might decide to use this idea.